You're watching in studio, and today we have Gavin Leatherwood. Hi. Hello, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I'm good, man. Thanks for having me. How's life? Life is good, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're on this break right now, so lots of downtime. Now, when do you go back to filming part three? Um, at the end of April. Okay, um, so I believe it's a good our break. first day is May 6th. Now, yeah. now you're here to talk all things part two. Yeah. Going into the new episodes, what did you want most from Nick? I definitely saw more involvement for him. I really just wanted to play with that relationship between Sabrina and Nick a bit more. Um, I mean, I felt like but those... But you do. Yeah, yeah. Which, it, which definitely happens. And there was a lot of life there to begin with, I think. And it was just sort of fun to continue that. And then I was hoping for the, to get like into his backstory, which we certainly do, too. And we see a lot more of Nick in Season 2 versus Season 1. Was that always how it was originally planned out from when you first joined the project? Or? I don't think so, dude. Yeah. I, I came on... Um, you were so good, they kept you around. Basically. I guess I had manners or something. They, I was doing something right, <laughs> I don't know. thank you. Everybody. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Knew, learned people's names. and but I, I don't know. I mean, I, I came on um, with like four episodes and then a, an additional, like a possibility of four more. And um, there was like that orgy scene in the first, oh, yeah. uh, in the first part. Yeah. Uh-huh. Was, uh, I was like not originally supposed to be in be, it. Be a member of the orgy. Yeah. Show. But I clicked with people, and yeah. Chance was talking about it one day at dinner, and he shot Roberto a text right then and there. and was like, yo, we should bring Gavin in on the orgy, and that's how I got in there. Now, that was a scene, obviously, everyone talked about last season. What other scenes kind of stuck out for fans that they talked to you about that kind of maybe either surprised you? Or everyone was really hung up on the last, um, like, the last shot of episode 10. Yeah. Where Sabrina's walking down with the weird sisters, and I'm sitting on the steps, and she gives me a little wink. Okay. And initially, oh, like... it's like the final moment. It's the much. final yeah, moment. Yeah. Like, a lot of people reached out about that, and it kind of surprised me, because I was just sitting on the steps, but people were like, oh my gosh, Nick looks worried, or, you know, like, what's, what's he thinking in this moment? I was like, I don't know, I was thinking that we're rapping after, like, <laughs> in like an hour, and... And I'm just staring down final. Sabrina, <laughs> but people really like. Well, that was a moment that kind of took over, and where we see Sabrina, where we see Nick for season two. Yeah, it sets it up really beautifully. When did you first get into acting? Can you kind of talk, talk yeah. about that? I grew up in theater. Yeah, that was like my first um, professional gig. I was six years old, and I did uh, Arthur Miller's All My Sons, and um, very serious play yeah, to course. be getting into, and. Um, and I loved it, man. It was like once I was on stage with an older gentleman who was playing pretend with me and like, you know, make believe with all these people and the lights and the costume. Yeah. I was just like hooked, man. And you I, knew like that's what you wanted I to do. I knew it. So I did theater like for most of my early, early ages. That's such a young age, though, to know what you want to do for yeah. the rest of your life, kind of. I think I even knew it before then, too. Did your parents like discourage you from doing it at all? Or? No, no, no. They were very supportive. My mom was actually a general manager of a theater company. Okay. It was possible. Yeah. And I would go and sit with her and watch a lot of people, you know, audition and a lot, uh, you know, see a lot of adults kind of, kind of. You um, into our audience right now. Yeah. Here. Hi guys. Oh hey. Applaud. How's it going? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw a lot of that, you know, a lot of the um, audition process growing up and and. Um, and how the shows came to be, and it was just like, it was always kind of in my head that that was something I wanted to do. Now for all of you have, as actors, I think probably what was really cool for you guys is when the two schools put on plays, so it was a play inside the show. Can you guys talk about filming those scenes? and that? Yeah, that was so fun, man, and it took me back to theater days too, yeah. like being on a stage, and there were some takes where there's, you know, no one out there, so it was a little weird, but when the- like now. Yeah, like right now. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> but when the audience was filled up, um, it just felt like theater, man. And the segments were pretty quick. We like had three like beats to film, three different segments of that play. First one, Chance yeah. as God is like ripping my wings off, and then you know the the two like chummy scenes with, with Sabrina. Yeah, super chummy. Yeah. But it felt like a real play. Like it felt like you were watching a real play. So For sure. Well done. Thanks, man. You probably get this question a lot, but are you similar to Nick at all, or are you more similar to Harvey? You know, I think I pretended for many years to be cool like Nick. I, I, I talk, the leather jacket going on. Yeah, you know, this is this is all a facade, <laughs> my friend. I came from theater, and I did a. Um, 
I did a tour for two years, so I was gone from school, and I came back at middle school. Oh, right. I came back seventh grade, and that's when everyone's developing personalities or egos, maybe even, right. and, you know, judgment kind of starts to become a thing of society. No. And um, I got teased a lot for having, like, a middle part haircut and orange cargo shorts and a roller backpack. I guess that just wasn't cool. I don't know why that's not cool. But that sounds kind of cool. I think it's kind of cool. It's like hipster now. Look at you now, though. Ah, uh, that's just it, man. <laughs> I hid behind a facade. And, you know. Now, when you first joined the project, did you originally watch the original Sabrina? No, it was kind of on in the background when I was a kid. Yeah. To be honest, the Salem creeped me out. Oh, really? Genuinely scared me. Why, because he spoke, and in this one, he doesn't? <laughs> because he was just, like, so, like, um, I don't know, his movements and everything were just a little eerie. It's kind of like that um, Uncanny Valley, where it's, like, sort of realistic, yeah. but not enough. Well, because, yeah, it's like a... Like, just enough bit, that you yeah. know the difference that something is fishy there, and I knew that as a kid. I was like, no. Now, speaking, speaking of Salem, at the end of part two, spoiler alert, by the way, we're going to be talking about a bunch of episodes Cover your ears from part two. Ah, uh, Salem does speak. What was that moment like on set for everyone? I wasn't there. Yeah. Um, but I can tell you that when we read it, like when we did the cast read through, because we read the scripts before we shoot them. Um, was there a Salem there that was? There wasn't. Oh, dude. And I through. was so like, who the hell is gonna voice this guy? Because um, I'm curious what that voice is gonna sound like. But on the day that we read those lines, it was just like, our, all of our minds were blown like holy shit I'm shocked by it. Salem talks yeah because that's something I I mean I was wondering in season one why why wasn't he speaking and people before? wanted it man yeah everyone was like the show yeah great why isn't why the cat isn't he speaking yeah, yeah that's the most important thing we deliver it's okay it happens um speaking about another familiar in one of the standout episodes we see your love story with your former famili familiar Amalia mm -hmm. and in that episode like a lot in the show we see dynamics of love comedy and specifically for you, romance, humor, mm -hmm. um, sorrow. Can you kind of talk, walk us through filming those scenes? And um, specifically that episode? That episode, yeah. Yeah. Um, that was my... Because there were a bunch of standout scenes specifically, like with the little dance. Absolutely. And... Yeah. That episode was, I think it was my most heavily involved up, yeah, up to that point. Yeah, it was Yeah, and like I, it, I remember working, um, I think I worked like one day less than Kiernan, which was like crazy because she's an animal and works she's every Sabrina. single damn day. Yeah, I mean, it's not the chilling adventures of Nick. Of but, Nikki. But, like, she, you know, she just works a lot, and I worked, like, just as much as her, maybe, yeah. you know? And cool. um, I remember saying to the writer at the end of it, too, I was like, I'll work like this every damn day. Like, this is the best. Um, and I really did enjoy that pace. I mean, you know, we were shooting at 3 a.m., running through the woods, and there's this giant, like, um, ATV, like off-road vehicle with a camera rig on it, and I'm sprinting through the woods with a wolf on top of my head, and it's oh freezing ass outside, and, you know, we're just, it's 2 a.m., and we're running through the woods and howling. Now, was Amalia, like, a CGI wolf? Because it's pretty terrifying, and how yeah. did you portray falling in love with this terrifying... Well, she's like my mother, yeah. um, so, like, that's, that was um, sort of an easy thing to click, connect with, you know. Um, what do you mean by that? Like, the character, because... Yeah, she, like, technically raised me. Because one of your parents passed away in the show. Yeah, sure. I'm, like, kind of orphaned, and then I was raised by, by this familiar right. um, in the woods, which I don't really want to know the logistics of how all of that happened, but... Um, but Explains a lot. I mean, Nick's a lady killer, man. <laughs> he was raised by an animal. And, yeah, I mean, it was... It, Quentin is the guy who plays Amalia, and he's in this... He's, like, seven feet tall already, as okay. it is. And then he's got this wolf suit on, which adds another foot. So, it, I mean, he looked, like, ten feet. And, and you know, it was kind of an interesting thing to be crying over my mom, who's a wolf, but there's a man inside the suit. There were just so many layers that the imagination needed to kind of, like, yeah, work I mean. extra like, hard yeah. for it, like... There's a man in there. This show's wild, man. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do anything else. Wait, did you keep that uh, wolf hoodie costume that you had on? I wish. If you should have, it's so cool. I would love to just like bust that okay. out whenever, you know. You could have worn it here. I would have. Yeah. I would actually been probably a good just call. sit in my apartment and yeah. stare out my window wearing it. People would be like... Oh, Doing your TED Talks on Instagram with exactly. your... Exactly. It'll get some attention. What were some of your other favorite scenes for season two? The Valentine's dance was really fun to film because, yeah. you know, it was just like a day on set with um, 
Ross, Jazz, Lachlan, and Karen and I, and, yeah. and you know, we just danced all day, which, like, that's always fun. And um, also Dorian's Club, like, we had a dance scene in there, too. Oh, yeah. Pretty much any time we're dancing, we're having fun. It, Are you usually a good dancer? Or? No, I'm, I'm awful. Yeah. I'm really awkward. It's good you can admit that. Yeah. I just fake it, though. Yeah, that's how you have to do it. I try to, like, put the focus on Kieran, and I just, like, do it. A little bob. Just to, like, step back and forth yeah. to not overdo any. But when I'm on the real dance floor, I got some weird moves. All bets are off. All bets are off. It's awkward. In the show, though, the spells are kind of tricky. Yeah. Do you have trouble remembering them, remembering them at all, or can you recite one here? Vosi vocal formidabilis regis e quiatrum solitudinum. Which one was that? I don't remember, man. It's just somehow <laughs> in my brain. I don't know why it's still in so my it's, head. Yeah, it's a tricky one. Um, I I don't know. Yeah, I think I think um, I learned Spanish growing up in school, yeah. so like I had a little bit of an understanding with another language. Um, Did I read somewhere that they're actually real satanic rituals or something, or is that fake? It's fake news. If they are, <laughs> or something like that, where you guys got them from somewhere, or maybe, I don't that, know, maybe that's man. made up. If that's true, though, then they had us performing. <laughs> Satanic, <laughs> satanic rituals. Then it's not true. What <laughs> if something just like <laughs> we actually correct. thought about that during uh, the burial scene with, or like the oh. sacrifice scene yeah. in episode eight? I think it's episode eight. Don't quote me on that. But we were like standing around a circle in the middle of the woods at night, you know, chanting some stuff, and we were like, "What if something weird happened?" Our imaginations. Hopefully, said, you didn't bring any of that here. It's I, no, I cleansed myself. Yeah. I saged before I came. Don't worry. Who in the cast do you wish you had more scenes with? Him, um, in, him included. Definitely Ross. Yeah. yeah, like a love scene with Ross would be really cool. Um, Shocker! Like Sabrina, yeah, Sabrina's I, left alone. And sorry, it's you Sabrina. And, you and Harvey. We did a photo shoot where she was like in the background, and he was like, he and I were like all, oh, all so romantic funny. and stuff. No, I love playing with him. Um, you know, it's always a good time on set with him. Um, I got some scenes with Michelle, which I was like really oh. wanting and looking forward to. Um, I will also say like I would love um, like a one-on-one -on -one scene with Richard because that yeah. man is just explosive and unpredictable in a good way. Yeah. And like that's just really fun to interact with. Yeah. Now, in the beginning of the season, we see you and Sabrina kind of fighting for the top of the school. Mm -hmm. Do you think Nick always wanted her to beat him and you guys kind of all come together and mess with the I think priests. I think his main agenda is to cater to her success yeah. you know that's always kind of his forefront like he could give a I almost said shit can I say shit yeah you can say it I said shit you just said a satanic ritual you can say shit sorry <laughs> I think he could give a shit whether he's the top boy you know yeah. I think his greater agenda is her success well he declares his love for Sabrina and that he's was like a big moment yeah, he loves yeah. her oh yeah and they end up together yeah Pretty much. Yeah. He steals her heart. I think in part two, they're going to be more fans of Nick and Sabrina. Do you see that happening versus Harvey and Sabrina? Yeah. I mean, I think we definitely get, um, we get a greater look at what they are as yeah. a couple. Um, so that curiosity will be quenched a bit. Um, I'm still hoping for Team Harvey and Team Nick shirts. Okay. Just so I can wear a team. You heard it here shirt. first. Hopefully you're not saying this in a re interview on this shit. Breaking news right here. Breaking news. <laughs> team Harvey, Team Nick shirts. Start them up. If the show were to end tomorrow, though, who should Sabrina end up with? Oh, man. Harvey, dude. Really? I'm Team Harvey. They're like OG loves. As Nick, I'm Team Nick, of course. But that's just a character. Harvey's kind of annoying in the show. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Ross that. Like, no, Ross is a great actor. Just... <laughs> yeah. I don't know, like, their fight scenes are just a little weird. And then he finds a new love interest, too. He does. He's like, all right, bye. You guys are um, all pretty good friends, and you guys hang out a lot. What's your favorite memory hanging out with Kiernan and Ross? Oh, you can man. Share? We, um, you know, it was Kiernan's birthday, actually. We had a little, um, it was Kiernan and Jazz and Ross and I, and we just, like, had a little four-way little date, and oh, I cool. went and had dinner at this, um, I don't remember the name. But, like, we just had dinner and drinks and um, and then went out and danced a bit and just, like, there's a, a photo of us floating around yeah. out there somewhere where it just looks like we're having way too much fun and that was the night that we were having absolute too much fun. And we were, like, taking, we did, like, a little photo shoot on this old disposable camera at the, That's awesome. at the end of the night. It's, it's good fun. you guys are all, like, in this together, kind of. And For sure. This shows the success and now there's part three. For sure. Speaking of... 
Where we see Nick last, he's unconscious and being carried into hell. Mm. What can you tease about part three? I know nothing. Nothing. Okay. I know absolutely nothing. I wish I could tease anything. I wish I knew anything. Yeah. But I don't know a damn thing. Uh, lastly, you're a musician. What can you tease about uh, your new music for fans? Um, Do you have any new music to share? I don't have any. The thing about music and me right now is that it's such a personal thing. Yeah. I don't really feel the need to share it yet. Oh, cool. Um, it feels really therapeutic and and it's, you know, kind of like a journal with sound. Um, and playing a character is one thing. It's like, yeah. here, here's a character. Like, that's not really what's happening deep in here. And like Music is, you, it's you. Yeah, like, man. And like, you know, I, I want to maintain a little... Um, a little bit of my self. Self, yeah. Yeah. That's important. Thanks so much for being here. You can catch you on Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, part two, now on Netflix. This yep. was fun. Thanks. Should we do a walkout? Yeah, let's walk out. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Come here. Oh, that, don't mess with that set. It's okay. Hey, everyone, you're watching in studio. Hey, everyone, you're watching in studio. Do <laughs> 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 a little off the wall. Oh, that doesn't feel that sturdy.